What's up, my dudes? My name is Rut Tester, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bud Red, I mean Sandwick. <laughs> so we got him on all time, 20 laps. Let's see what happens, bro. So the first lap should be pretty silky smooth. If I can get out front here, give you guys kind of a clean look on it. But this track is one of those that she's going to rut up and be muffed up and it's going to be a good old time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this track, it be, being sand like this, man, it is definitely one that seems to, like with Reflex, you actually have certain tracks that rut up more and or differently than some of the other tracks so with this one you're really gonna get those kind of sand blown out berms blown out breaking bumps all over the place and i think part of that is because this track already has some pre-made sort of breaking bumps and stuff like that on it little uh spongebob tire action going on so hopefully i don't get past whoa <laughs> dude went right through me bro can't see me dude oh wow all right, just trying to, I was playing Reflex on PC, now I'm back on the console version here, so going to take me just a second to get this uh, kind of controls back down on this track. Dude, I know on this track, like, you can just hold it absolutely wide open. I'm talking there ain't a spot where you ever have to even think twice about letting off. You just don't even have to do that on this track, so... Uh, I thought it was really cool. It gets a lot of fun, too, when you get really deep in the ruts because then it. this is one of those tracks where it really feels like it It changes the track as far as how you have to ride on it. Like, for instance, at the very beginning, when it's super smooth like this, you can literally be just wide open. But once you're on, like, lap 10 or 15 or something like that, I mean, you're going to have to be going, like, almost half the speed because of how the roughness and the ruts have been developed on the track here so whoa grinding that uh blue banner out there dude so nine seconds up okay looking pretty good i'll probably run the first maybe five laps and skip to maybe like 10 15 and then go to 20 something like that so i uh, give you guys a nice little look on it but i have actually done this before like Back in the day, I've rode on this uh, Sandwick track here. <laughs> it's so funny how they did that, where it's like it's like Sandwick, but it's exactly like Southwick. Like, where's the Bud Red at, dude? Where's the fucking um, Shashugal? Like, wh where's it all at, dog? Uh, I find it to be kind of funny how they only did that with this this track right here. It just It's kind of bizarre when you think about it. But um, what I was saying, though, is I have actually done this before where, like, most of these rut tester videos, I've never, ever done that many laps on that track or whatever. But with this track right here, I have actually done this back in the day, racing with my buddies and stuff. Just wanted to sit there and see what it done when you rode a million laps on it. And it, it is definitely a... Uh, it's definitely a treat when you get it worked up to that point. Now, if you're on here with like only two or three people, it's not going to get to that level. But I know for a fact when you have full gate all time, she gets pretty real, dude. Like, it's no joke when you get on lap uh, 10. It's one of those things you got to... I'm going to have to start getting in like a super focus mode to uh, be able to hit these ruts wide open. But yeah, man, this is... This is like probably at this current point in time of all these motocross games, I would say the sandwich wick track right here with uh, almost said sandwich, uh, sandwich. Oh my god, dude! Wow. Uh, good lord, man. I crack myself up sometimes, but yeah, like this is I would say the best of any motocross game out there, including MX Simulator, any of those motocross games out there. This track in particular with the the terrain deformation and a full gate of all time 20 laps this is the best terrain deformation rut maker rut system this is basically what i'm saying is this is the best like rut developing experience you can have on any motocross game currently uh that's really honestly how i feel about it so let's see if it starts working some of these inside that corner is just chewed <laughs> like there's not really a rut going through that at all but that's what's cool about it is like some of the corners just get completely chewed out and then some of them actually make more so ruts like that right there you'll really start to get these developed lines on the track whoa got a little sketch right there 
um, you know, they really start to kind of develop these inside lines. And it may not, there may be certain times where it doesn't develop on this good, but you can really see it right there. Oh, hell yeah, dog. Railing that rut like a boss. That That is becoming really fun in that one section. But um, like certain sections are going to really make a good rut. Some of them aren't. It's going to be interesting to see how the track changes because I can't really remember exactly how it does it on this track. I just know it is like hella fun to the maximum when you get it pretty deep into the rut system. Like, look at that right there, dude. I mean, it like goes from being perfectly smooth, to like turning my bike fucking 360, 180, no scope backflip, like without even turning. And that, that just goes to show you that it like, it's really making a difference here. Um, but they're still movable. Like the ruts still feel like you're, you're, you're kind of moving them a little bit every time you go around the track, you know? Um, so let's see, is this made an, yeah, it's got a little bit of an inside groove right there. I kind of slid too far outside, but whoa, she's getting rough. Uh, it's definitely making like roughness. It's not just ruts. I mean, look at that right there. <laughs> Exhibit A, uh, like dude, it's, it's making roughness to the point where it's actually kicking up the back end. It, it will kick your ass end up to where you're just going to fall over if you just want to hammer it wide open like you were on lap one. Good yes, gracious. Uh, I apologize for my, uh, little bit subpar beginner ass skills here. Um, like I'm saying, it can be very confusing going from the uh, PC version, then back to the console version, then back to the PC version, then back to Reflex, and then going back to MX Simulator, and then going back to MX Bikes, and then going back to the official Monster Energy Supercross game, and then going back to MX vs. ADV All Out, and then going back to MX vs. ADV Unleashed, and MX vs. ADV Untamed. You can see how my brain can't keep up at all. Uh, so, yeah, dog. Uh, 420, baby. <laughs> Dude, yes. Yes, bro. Uh, wow. I just happened to look up there at the labs. It is said 420. Oh, uh, that was good right there, dude. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can try to rail around. Oh, dude, that corner is just, just a mosh pit, bro. Like, it's, it's, I don't even think there's even a line in that corner at all. Now, it would be interesting to go in here with only one I can kind of see see if your exact lines that you go in every lap if that really builds a a true rut that you feel like you can go in every single lap look at that right there whoa baby that felt like I went through the damn time warp vortex of all ruts of all time like that was insane dude all right let's see now I'm kind of out of that one rut okay super smooth when you get out of the that main line right there what if I just cut up the inside okay Cutting some cheese, dog. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Mm, whoa, that SpongeBob popped out of nowhere. I didn't see that thing at all. Look at the... Oh, my gosh, man. Now, you can actually run 30 laps in this game if you just want to have an absolute insanity race, but I know for a fact with Reflex, it will start to, like erase your one ruts and make new ruts if you go for like a certain amount of time i'm sure it probably does that around like lap maybe 15 20 you know it probably starts to kind of erase your original ruts that you made on lap one and you're, you're kind of like making new ruts again um so yeah that's why i didn't really race 30 laps on this puppy because it's kind of somewhat pointless to a certain extent um, unless you're just going for like an endurance, like trying to run that many laps, but I will come back on lap 10 and we'll see how she looks. Making nasty, making nasty. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this has got like beyond insanity here, but believe it or not, I'm actually starting to feel my vibe a little bit. Like I'm actually starting to get around the track. What you have to do when it gets to this level is... You just kind of kind of minutely turn your thumbsticks when you go through the ruts. You don't want to be too aggressive with your steering. You just got to kind of work it up in there like that right there. Get the fuck out the way, lapper. Coming through, bull. Uh, you know, you don't want to be too hardcore and you're leaning forward backwards. Wow, I'm making all kinds of new lines out here. <laughs> Fucking protest that piece of shit. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Yep. Got the lapper racing me hard here, dude. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that happens. But, uh, yeah, the track is continuing to get chewed up. See, this is where 
reflex becomes very different than like MX versus ATV all out. Um, all out, once you get to like basically lap 10 on any track, you're pretty much done rutting up that puppy. Like it's not really going to do much more, but it seems like with reflex, it's still, I mean, <laughs> look at this mess. Uh, it's, it seems like it's still just rutting it up more and more and more. It's like it's still actually making more of a difference every single lap, even when you're on lap 10. It's like it's still making it more crazy. So, um, yeah, you can see the point that you kind of get to here. Whoa, hit like a little inside baby two-foot rut, and it like totally shot me up the inside right there. That was kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, you... Dude, I could just race like real life people on this kind of stuff all day long because it just makes such different stuff. And it seems like every time you would play it, you would get different, especially if you're racing with real people. If you had like a full gate of real online racers here, um, you would really be making different ruts depending on what kind of lines everyone wanted to take, you know. Uh, so now with the AI like this, you're going to get more of a kind of a similar feel to it, but... This, this corner right here has really made a rut, and then it's got that inside rut. Um, so those two corners have really, like, turned into an actual bigger rut berm in the corner. And a lot of these other spots, it's, I mean, you got a little bit of a rut right here to kind of take the inside up on that. But in a lot of these other spots, it just kind of makes a bunch of roughness. Little, oh, yeah, baby. Spin that back around, boy. Uh that, that turned into a really cool, like, totally 180 rut right there. Um, so there's, like, certain areas where, at the beginning, they weren't really making much of a rut. Like, it was just kind of making, like I was saying, just roughness everywhere, kind of like this corner looks like. But then after you ride on it more and more and more, then it turns into more of a bigger berm rut deeper into the riding. So that's really cool how it actually did that there. This right here just gets deep as shit. Um, that, that face right there where everyone's been riding, dude, is like totally worn down. It definitely wears down faces. There's no doubt about that. Um, it for sure does that in reflex. You know, you're, you're not only getting roughness, but you're getting ruts and you're also getting worn down, um, actual height on your jump faces. And that's basically everything you need in a terrain deformation system. Um, I, I honestly still to this day feel like Reflex did it best. I mean, Reflex did it best in every kind of way <laughs> in, in an arcade game type of sense. I, I still believe that even with the terrain deformation, they just, there's just something about it, dude. It just, it is the best. I'm not saying it's T totally 1000% perfect, but it's the best we've had so far. Um, even comparing it to MX Simulator, I feel like Reflex is the best, uh, terrain deformation that we have um, it makes the most what you can call realistic ruts like it makes them movable but still still grabs you you know it's it's got that perfect kind of mixture combination between those two things there so uh, okay here we are lap 15 dude the amount of vibrations you get through the controller you could probably pleasure a pussy with that bro <laughs> like god dang Every little bump, it seems like you can feel it through the controller. That starts to kind of make your hand feel weird if, you, uh, if you're, like, sitting here for 15 laps straight like this. So, yeah, it definitely gets to that point to where you can't just kind of randomly go anywhere on the track. You really do have to sort of pick and choose your lines here. Uh, you know, you kind of got to know where you're going in each corner. So I would definitely say... At that low, at that lap 15 point is where she gets like, basically, there's no telling what it's going to do in the corner. <laughs> I mean, you could come in there wide open and just blow it smooth out like, like that right there. Or you could come in there and just flip over the front of the bars. So like, you never really know what, what it's going to do. It's just kind of a wide open and pray to Pastrana, basically. That's uh, what it kind of gets to at the lap 15 point. Damn, I'm like getting no lip off of that whatsoever. Let's see if we can hit this right. Oh, that was not. Okay. Uh, now, when you hit, that's probably the funnest corner. Dude, I mean, that rates up there as some of the funnest corners of any motocross game ever. Those two little corners back there. Oh, my gosh. When those get rutted up, like they're built just, just wide enough and just perfect enough where it kind of makes a fun little s rut like that right there in that in that uh second corner i was talking about 
just makes it so much fun getting the super speed from that one rut before that's kind of more of a sweeper corner and then really like swooping the bike around in that that second s corner right there that really tight like 180 style corner then you got that other 180 corner right there that i just hit a while ago that's really fun too because it seems to build that same sort of rut to it as well so you can see the chewed up jump faces here though i mean it is uh, definitely going to be affecting your jump distances. Like, can't really quad up to that one little, that last little roller thing right there. Whoa. Just went around like every single rut on that one. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you get, like, if you get sideways and then you get a, a little bit of terrain, like, stuck under your, uh, between, you know, your front and back wheel there, it just, like, totally stops the bike. So you got to be a little bit careful of that. I could try to take some different lines, like, let's see, can I just kind of swoop up this inside? Okay, not too bad. Instead of just like, you know, railing it wide open around the outside there. See if I can actually get some air off of this little jump up here. If we can hit it more to the inside. Yay, Bubby. There we go. That's, oh, that's where you, um, you know, changing up your line is going to allow you to jump all the way down that hill again like you could at the beginning versus just... Uh, you know, like barely even coming off of the jump phase because that lip right there is so worn down in that one spot. Uh, okay, scrub that. Tons of roughness coming through here. Slow down just a little bit right there. I like. I just barely blipped the throttle before I went in that rut. That really helped. Okay. Now right here in this corner, I don't even know what the hell to tell you. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. That corner is probably the most chewed up of any of them, I would say. Uh, so if you rail this around the outside, okay, that's decent. Not bad. Woo, you can see me carrying the speed. Dude, that's what makes reflex reflex. Like that right there, man, being able to just like, it's almost like you can go twice as fast in a corner if you just hit it a little bit differently. It's so crazy how you can do that in reflex. Um, like I could just see the separation you could get actually being a good ruddy rider versus not a very good rut rider in this game uh all right let's see just kind of keeping our mellow over that so you can rail this all the way outside it actually got pretty smooth right there i'm actually a little bit surprised about that let off the gas just a little bit sliding into that corner so you don't just blow the back end around whoa little endo little endo okay yeah i'm coming into this thing kind of weird uh, not going to jump it all the way down the hill, but that's okay. Let's see if we can carry our speed. Okay, come around this corner. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, it's like if you if you start riding the bike at like 90%, it seems to really work here. Uh, it actually does. Like if you'll just let, don't be just wide ass open everywhere. Seems like it uh, kind of flows a little bit better around somebody's corner. I'm not even going to hit the rut. Outside line, baby, for the win. That might actually be a little bit better. I think you can carry way more speed around that outside. Whoa, I'm hitting like lines that you would never hit otherwise. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that may be better on that spot just to go up the inside and just take all that roughness. I'm kind of thinking it is. See, if you hit the inside right here, you hit that one little, it's kind of easy to hit that little divot that it's made right there. Now we're getting some air down this hill. Trying to carry this speed. So, yeah, you really do have to think about what in the hell you're doing. You can't just randomly, like like um, when you first get on there on lap one, you can really carry your speed pretty much anywhere on, on in through the corners or any of the lines. But when it gets the ruts like this, you actually do have to put in like mental focus and stuff like that or you're just not going to go fast at all i mean there's <laughs> no other way to explain that dude like you're not going to go fast on a track like this if you don't go in the right spots it created this look at this little interesting huge braking bump on the outside right there i don't know how the hell it did that but somehow okay but yeah i mean there the amount of fun you can get out of like hammering it wide open into a completely rutted out corner in this game uh, differently from like a, a non eroded non terrain deformed corner in the same exact game is just crazy the the difference of the feeling that it gets in reflex like how different that actually feels you know what i'm saying you're following me here dog like you know oh 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 
yeah, I knew that was going to be bad when I came off that face. It's just almost like a totally different feeling when you come into a, a actual rutted corner like that right there than it is the non-rutted corner. Totally different feel. Like you're actually hitting a totally different spot on the racetrack. So, um, and the bike just reacts totally different. See what happens when you, you kind of like... You're not really focusing and you're, you're getting out of your zone. You can just start crashing over and over and over like that right there. So the, the amount of mental focus definitely kicks up to an oomph degree here for sure, uh, without a doubt. Be fun to definitely race some real people here. I might end up doing that eventually. But uh, yeah, either way, that's Rut Tester on Sandwick, Southwick, Wick Sand, whatever you want to call it here, bro. So... Okay, oh, round like that. That corner's a little bit blown out, but you, uh, it definitely slows down the track a little bit, but not to the point where it doesn't even feel like you're going fast anymore. Um, like, it seems like on MX Simulator, sometimes it does that. It feels like it, it almost slows down the track so much that it's like, it's like it, it almost is taking skill away more than it is adding skill because of how much it actually slows down the track. Uh, I mean, obviously the ruts are going to slow it down some. I'm not saying it shouldn't. Whoa, that's a fast line, like barely even come off the ground right there. I mean, obviously it's going to slow it down a little bit because you got crazy roughness and ruts, but um, it, it, there's kind of that little bit of a balancing point there where you don't want it to slow it down so much to where everyone's just kind of going like a, a beginner speed because then it's kind of defeating the whole purpose anyways. If you can understand that, like it, um, sometimes I kind of get that feeling in MX Simulator when the ruts are too big. It's like, it's just, you're, ha you're having to go so slow that it's like, why am I even at a pro level speed if I'm having to go at a beginner speed? Makes no sense. So, all right, let's see on the last lap, baby, final lap. Man, that takes like 30 minutes of real time to actually run this whole race right here. So definitely a little bit time consuming, but I love doing these videos. It's going to be a series that I definitely continue here. But yeah, don't forget, you guys can always go follow me on any, pretty much anything out there. Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Steam, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, all of that stuff is just... Spencer Turley, no space, no capital. So it's exactly like my YouTube channel name, but just without the space and the, the capital letters there. So yeah, man, definitely go add me up on that. I'll add you on Steam and invite you to uh, different game, random games that I play and stuff like that. So either way, man, that's 20 laps. So appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.